Hello everyone. Welcome back to our session. In this session, I will explain you about three point test estimation techniques. So let's see is in the of this session. We'll discuss what is three point test estimation techniques, why we'll need it, how we can calculate three point test estimation techniques. And at the end, I will show you how you can convert the project estimation to confidence level. And finally, at the end of the session, I will give you bonus point, which is three point estimating accuracy. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Let's start with this. So first of all, what is three point estimation techniques in three point test estimation techniques three figures are produced initially so as you can see here first point is optimistic second is most likely and third is basically whenever the best guess or pessimistic is available so these three points are basically the name of this techniques so it is called three point estimating techniques because the team members provide their pessimistic optimistic and best guess estimates for their deliverables the first is most likely means this point or you can say that best guess which is going to be complete on their side is the average amount of work the task might take if the team member perform it 100 times second estimate is the pessimistic that is p it means this point estimate which is the amount of work the task might take more time this is the negative factor they identify it will occur or it will identify the third estimate is optimistic which is the amount of work the task might take in the positive race they identify do occur three point estimates is based on the simple average and follows triangular distribution Sometimes some of the organizations also calling this is the PERT but three point estimate techniques and PERT is a very much different task. So don't be confused with this otherwise what happened some of the books are referring or some of the tutors are providing the detail this is a, like a PERT chart but this is a very much different as compared to pot so as you can see here whenever the estimates are getting calculated first is e then o plus m plus l that is optimistic most likely and finally the l piece divided by 3 so this is the calculation of triangular distribution is done that is like trees. So let's see how we can calculate it in stepwise. So first is select WBS that is work branch at step one. For each event or each task, find three values: most optimistic that is O, most likely that is M, and pessimistic estimate. You can say that L or P, whatever is it. Calculate the mean of three values, that is O plus M plus L divided by 3. Then in step 4, E equal to mean equal to O plus M plus L divided by 3. Step 5, calculate the standard deviation of the task or event. So SD equal to root of 
O minus E square plus M minus E square plus L minus E square divided by 2 that is square root. So, point 6 will see that repeat steps 2, 3, 4 for all the tasks in the one down bridge structure. Calculate 3 point estimate of the project that is E project of submission sign E and the task or the event. And the finally, HD equal to project, you can take a square root of the point step 7 and you will get the standard deviation. So, by this way, we can calculate it. So, let's cover this in some real life scenario. The 3 point estimate E and the standard deviation thus calculated are used to convert the project estimates to confidence level which we can cover in any specific project. The conversion based says that confidence level in estimate plus or minus of SD is approximately 68%. Second point you can consider confidence level in E value plus or minus 1.645 into SD is approximately 90%. Third, confidence level in estimation value plus or minus 2 into standard deviation is approximately 95%. Confidence level in E that is estimate value plus or minus 3 into SD is approximately 99.7% is the basic calculus. Commonly, 95% confidence level is considered as a project estimation technique. So, more than that is okay, but less than that is not going to be acceptable. So, let's give you, I will give you the bonus point, which is the accuracy of Three point estimating techniques. Three point estimation technique gives you better data because we are explicitly considering risk. So, by this way, the knowledge gives you the opportunity to take corrective action before we start on the project that increases the likelihood of the good race and decreases the likelihood of the bad race. So, accuracy is always giving you better, but we have to consider each and every point in detail otherwise risk factor is always on the higher side let's recap the complete session we have started with what is three point estimation techniques we understand each and every topic on estimation process how we can calculate it in Eighth step, I have covered each step in detail how we can calculate it and finally in real life scenario I explain the how we can convert in project. So maximum uh, sorry minimum percentage is going to be covered 95% otherwise more than that is okay but less than 95% is not going to be acceptable in this method. And finally, the bonus point which I have covered here. So, this is all about three point estimation techniques. Hope you understand it. If you really enjoyed this video, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Thank you for watching.